What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great thirsty Thursday. Hope all your thirstiness gets quenched. You know, for years, the commanders have been throwing shit on the wall and trying to see what sticks. And now, officially, commander fans, the dark ages are over. Dan Snyder is no longer the owner of the commanders. The new guy in crew says he's been a lifelong Redskin slash commander fan and has been entrusted with this great franchise. And he vows, vows that he is going to bring a championship caliber team back to Washington. Is that a threat? Is he trying to tell us that the commanders are now going to be relevant? Um, time will tell on that one. But I will say this much. Things have changed in Washington. Without a doubt, they've changed because I will say that Dan Snyder is definitely the devil. And that the feeling that it seems that you're getting from the players and the media and the local jurisdictions are joy. Nobody wanted to work with Dan Snyder. Um, he wanted to get a new stadium because, of course, he wanted to get more money. And he wanted to get all of the money. And the local jurisdiction said, wait a minute, you want us to pay for the stadium and you're taking every cent? And they basically said, no deal. Um, no deal whatsoever. Have a nice day. We'll wait for the new guy. Um, as soon as it was announced that the team had been purchased, you had D.C. start talking to Congress and saying, we want the uh, rights to RFK again because we'd like to put bring the commanders home. You have Virginia all of a sudden say, we'll put up a billion dollars towards a new stadium, hopefully not in Woodbridge, because that would be the worst place to put it. And you have Maryland talking about Oxen Hill Farm location with Metro talking about having a station put right there that will feed National Harbor. And oh, by the way, right next door to the MGM Grand Casino. So a new day has dawned in Washington. And I'm going to say that we need to be wary of the commanders. I know that sounds crazy, but I think change of ownership, change of Perception, Dan Snyder was never liked. Dan Snyder should have never got the team. Jack Kent Cook's son should have actually had the team. And maybe they wouldn't have gone through holy hell like they did. But not my problem. I got enough problems with my Cowboys and Jerry. And finishing this red house. Ooh. 
because next week, this time, the team will be off the field and we'll be talking about practice. That's right, we'll be talking about practice. Not, not, not a game, not, not, not the game that we love. We'll be talking about practice. And I will be happy as can be because I'm tired. I am so tired of all of this, this the Cowboys shit that's going on right now. All of this, you know, Diggs isn't as good as, say, Diggs play slay. Literally, I was sitting here looking at Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report is doing a thing where they've got more podcasters that are doing stuff on there. And so I didn't even watch the whole, I didn't even watch the video. The title alone, this will anger Cowboys and Eagles fans. So this jackass's rating is about pissing off Cowboys and Eagle fans. At least we're not alone on it this time. Um... Everything now is, how can I use the Dallas Cowboys to get my name known? Joy Taylor put out the, uh, the plan, exactly how to do it. And now you got everybody else following along. If you like what we're doing here, um, I'm going to go ahead and go back live on my day job channel while I finish this up. And I'm also going to be fixing handrail. Yeah, the handrail up here. You definitely don't want to miss that. Hope you all are having a great day. Congratulations, Washington fans. Dan Snyder is no longer your nightmare. Still don't like y'all. Doesn't that look good? Take a look at the other side here. Look at that. Bam! I'm getting pretty good at this shit. <coughs> All right, good people. We'll have more later. Wow. <coughs> Choking on this shit. Peace.